So today we're going to have a look, uh, look at the two comp expression and it's very very useful. Um, basically allows you to kind of attach 2D positions to 3D objects. So as you can see in this example the beam um, beam object usually uh, you can't use it in this kind of 3D manner. It's, own, it's like a 2D only kind of uh, effect and what I've done is I've attached it to uh, two lights in 3D space. So I'm just going to show you quickly how to kind of achieve this. So um, I'm just going to create a new composition <clears throat> and I'm going to create two lights, point lights. And as you can see, uh, lights have a uh, free position coordinates. I'm just going to hit Control D, create light two, and move that out of the way. And I'm going to add a camera to the scene. And I'm going to add a null object to link to my camera. And I'm going to, I'm going to parent uh, the camera to null one. So if I carry out, just make the null 3D. If I carry out a rotation, as you can see, these lights are in 3D space. And um, I might actually just bring this one forward. As you can see. So uh, let's say I create a solid black solid and I attach a generate beam and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to choose a start and end point and just going to move this down whoops I think, sorry the solid was a 20 by 20 pixels so if you just click make comp size that solves that problem generate beam that creates a beam. As you can see, we've got starting point and ending point, and only two positions, X and Y. However, these lights have uh, three position coordinates. So let's say I want to try and uh, attach the start point. Sorry, the length, I'm going to make it 100%, so it's kind of end to end. So let's say I try the old uh, stopwatch click method, Alt and then I use the pick whip and I try and attach it to this 3D light let's see what happens and it hasn't quite attached has it? it doesn't seem to be uh, accurate and if I rotate the camera as you can see the beam is just completely static because it's a 2D layer and uh, I'm just going to call this beam and let's say we try and make the beam a 3D layer move the camera again And it looks like it's kind of 3D, but it's not. It's just kind of moving the solid plane. As you can see, it's actually just like a, it's kind of like a paper effect. So to genuinely attach this in 3D space, we're going to use an expression called 2Comp. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, go back to my expression. I'm just going to delete the all this. So this comp layer, light two, and then after the dot, I'm going to put in two comp. Open uh, rounded brackets. Open square brackets. Zero, zero, zero. Close square brackets and close rounded brackets. If I click away, as you can see, now this is linked. to the 3D coordinates of uh, light 2. And if I rotate now, it really is 3D. And I'm just going to attach the next, um, the ending point, so Alt, Stop, Watch, Click. We can uh, grab the pick whip. Oops, light two, yep. light two, just hit P to open it up. And then um, I'm just going to delete all this stuff here and just add again. I'm just going to steal this, copy, paste. Now, as you can see, it's attached. And it moves in 3D space. 
So that's what two comp does, and you can use this with a whole of basically any effect that has a 2D kind of coordinates. You can use it with uh, four color gradients. You could use it here for the points. Um, you could use it with um, what else? A ramp maybe scribble some of the lens flare like light burst the light burst center you can link that I actually might do that now um, just gonna open up the light position too oops I put the light burst on the null that's not a good idea so let's just uh, create an adjustment layer put the light burst there and then um, you know, alt stopwatch click Go down and link it to light position two. I'm just gonna delete this here. Hopefully my uh, whoops two comp isn't in the clipboard, so I'm just gonna write it again quickly. Two comp square bracket zero 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 like that. And as you can see, it's kind of attached to the light two. And it just kind of follows that coordinate there. So you can get some interesting effects basically using this method. Um, as you can see, it's kind of only affecting the end of light two there. Sorry, light one. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, very useful uh, expression. And um, I'm just going to keep it simple for now. Turn that off.